Hello, Liza. How do you do? I'm writing you a letter. I hope it reaches you. Good morning, you guys. I just did some makeup really quick. I am still in my robe, but I'm about to head out to a hair appointment. My hair looks atrocious right now, but I'm gonna stop at Starbucks, get a sugar cookie latte, as I do most days. And I'm gonna go straight to my hair appointment. I'm so excited to finally get this hair done. Um, it's just been, you know when you go through a funk with your hair? It's been almost one year. The last time I got my hair done was January and it's like the end of November. So it's been almost one year since I've colored my hair. It's been over a year since I've dyed my hair. What? It's been over a year since I've cut my hair. Um, so I really need a haircut and I would really like to do something about this color. Um, I'm really excited to see what we come up with today. And um, yeah, today's just gonna be a fun like errand day. I have a ton of content I need to do. I have a ton of work I need to do. I might make this like a couple days vlog. Um, we'll see. But yeah, let's, let's get going. Okay, you guys, just got to, what is this rat tail? Got to Starbucks, got my drink. It's a sugar cookie latte with almond milk. The only thing is I get two pumps of sugar cookie and three pumps of sugar-free vanilla. I know sugar-free stuff is bad for you, okay? Don't come for me. I don't have it all the time. But sometimes, you know, I just want it to be a little bit less sugar. Um, and yeah, whatever. Don't come for me, okay? So, you know, your girl's trying to... The holidays are rolling around. I'm going to eat my sugar with my cookies, okay? Like, there's still sugar in here. Whatever. I don't... I'm just telling you what I get, okay? People just get a little bit, uh, you know, stinkity about stuff. So, I got my coffee. Let's see how far away we are. Mm. Okay, we're still going to get there early, which we love. Um, this coffee's so freaking good. And, yeah, I'm so sore. I did a workout with my trainer who, like, is one of my friends, but she's a personal trainer. And I just started working out with her with my other best friend, Monica. Um... So Paris has been training both of us and Monica started first and I am finally it's my second session with her and I'm so sore like yesterday my arms were like jello I was she was doing like circuit workouts with us and I was like bro I like can't I was like flopping on the ground Monica was like holding it down like really going for it and I was like flopping on the ground like I looked like I just looked like a noodle I was flailing around it was very embarrassing but you know what I did it though I did it um we went to a show in Boston the night before, and it... Let me start my con. Um, we went to a show in Boston the night before, and so I got in bed at, like, I don't even know, 1 o'clock? I go to bed at 8 o'clock, just for people who don't know, um, and I still woke up at 7, which is, like, my regular time is, like, between 6 and 7, sometimes 5.45, depending on how early I go to sleep. It's and... The, and that is all over. Okay, sorry, I was listening to a podcast. Um... And I was just dead. I was dead all day, like, stayed in my pajamas. I tried to nap, but I'm just not a napper. I can't nap. Um, so anyways, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, we're gonna go get our hair done. And then I have so much other stuff to do, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. But also, I want her to do a good job, so, like, whatever, however long it takes. Um, I'm so excited! Tomorrow is, like, Thanksgiving Eve. Um... So, I don't even know if I'm gonna be doing anything for that. Hopefully not. We're just doing Frank's mom's birthday dinner. Um... And then I have, like, a friend who's going to be here, so I would maybe get something, get, like, a, a food item with her. But that's only if I can get all my work done first. Um, so, anywho's, let's do this. All right, you guys, I'm back home. This is the new hair. I love it. It's so, like, subtle. We called it expensive brunette. It's just very, like... She lightened up these pieces right here, but you can't even, it just looks natural. Like this is my natural hair color, which I love so much. And she was like, obviously it's gonna fade as you wash it and whatnot, but I just really like it. It's like the perfect fall and winter transition hair color because I loved the balayage. I liked the blonde for like summer, but it was just giving a little too California for what I want right now. And like, you know, we're going into more of like a New England mo moment right now, so. I feel like this is more, this is more the vibe. Um, so I'm starving. I'm gonna make a piece of toast and then I have to film a try on haul um, for YouTube. And then I need to run some errands. So I'll bring you guys along for that. Hey you guys, ew, the, what the hell is this lighting? That's literally horrible. That did not help at all. 
Um, anyways, I just ate a huge, that's gonna drive me insane when I'm editing. I just ate a huge brunch. It's not brunch, it's like a late lunch. It's three o'clock, I just ate it at like 2.30. I filmed my try on haul. I had a snack beforehand, I had like a piece of toast with banana and peanut butter and honey. But then I just had like a big omelet and another piece of toast with avocado. And it was so yummy. So that's that. Um, not that you guys, not that anyone asked what I ate, but I figured I would let you know. Um, now I'm on my way, I need to go to TJ Maxx and I need to go to Ulta. So I'll show you guys what I get at Ulta. At TJ Maxx, I kind of want to get some syrups for my coffee. Um, like, I know, again, they're not healthy, they're not good for you, but listen, some things you can allow yourself to have, like good little treats. I know it's something, of course, coffee you drink every day, but I'm not going to have these things every day. And even if I do, who gives a care? Um, I just like, it's hard because I feel like I have to defend myself sometimes because some of the comments are like, this is all chemicals, this is not healthy, like girl if you don't i just can't you know you can't you can't solve every problem i do my best i try to eat whole foods 90 percent of the time um if i want a little syrup for my coffee i'm gonna have a little syrup for my coffee so i'm gonna get some syrup for my coffee i also wanted to get what the frick else did i want oh i want to throw a blanket for my bed because I got rid of the one that we had back home and I don't have one anymore and I would love a throw blanket for my bed whenever I'm just like chilling in bed editing or like just cozy and I don't want to like get under my comforter. I just want like a little blankie. Um, and then like maybe just like browse the like snack, food, whatever section. Um, tea section. My mom and I love to get teas from TJ Maxx too. And then at Ulta, I'm out of concealer and I'm out of self tanner. So I was going to get a spray tan before Scottsdale. I'm going to Scottsdale next week on Thursday. Um, but I just like, I don't really feel like doing that. Like it's just a whole lot of effort and loving tan, the extra dark one is just as good as a spray tan, like dead ass serious. And I feel like when it comes off, something about the way that a spray tan comes off looks so gross versus when my self tanner comes off, I never even noticed that it came off. Like it just gradually comes off in the shower because it's less like thick. But like when I my spray tan starts peeling off my body, I look like I have scales. Like it's just gross, um, and it's really dry in Arizona. And Rachel said it's like six in the mid 60s, or it's going to be when I'm there. So like that's not particularly hot. So I just feel like I don't know. I'm like worried about getting a spray tan. Nothing against spray tans. I just like I find that honestly that self tanner works just as good. And then I can do it for tomorrow as well. Um, and have it done all day for tomorrow and then do it again the, ne the following week. Um, and one bottle of self tan costs just as much as like a f one spray tan. And you can use that bottle so many times. Um, all the spray tan people are going to come at me. Like I had a favorite spray tan girl also in LA and I'm not in LA anymore. And I know there's places around here, but I just like, I don't really care that much. Like it's just, it's not that deep, you know, like I'll be tan. I'm gonna look good. Like, Loving Tan hits, and I haven't used it in so long, so I better have it at my Ulta. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get going. It's 3 o'clock. I'm starting to get that, like, 3 p.m., like, especially because I just had such a big meal that, like, filled me up so much and, like, was so yummy and just, like, warm and mm, comfort food. Like, I don't know why eggs and avocado toast, like, a nice, juicy omelet and avocado toast is just, like, my freaking jam. I need to get balsamic glaze, so maybe they'll have that at TJ Maxx, um, because that's what my avo toast has been missing lately, and I want, like, salt that's, like, in big crystals, um, but yeah, that's it, that's what we're going to the store for, very pointless errands, but it's the kind of stuff that kind of makes me happy, and I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. It's been fun vlogging again, I haven't been vlogging for a while, and, you know, we're back, um, I have not, I didn't work out today, I didn't go to the gym, so... Frankly, I don't really feel like it. I'm extremely sore from my workout yesterday, and I think, honestly, like, walking around the stores and stuff, and, like, by the time I finish everything I need to do, I'll probably just get some good steps in and... Okay, you guys, quick haul. Um, yeah, we can shut that. So, okay, at Ulta, I only got two things. I was really good in both stores. I only got what I came for. Um, in Ulta, I got the Loving Tan 2-Hour Express in Dark. I think I'm going to do this tomorrow morning after I work out and before I have all of my stuff that I need to do. 
I'm getting an eyelash lift and tint, and then I'm also potentially getting a brow tint tomorrow. And you're not allowed to shower for 24 hours after you do that, so I'm gonna have to just shower in the morning after I work out anyways. And then I'll have to shower one more time to wash this off before that appointment. Um, but I think that will totally, it's like, quick shower you know I don't have to do my hair because I'm not washing my hair tomorrow and then I also I'm trying this hourglass uh vanish airbrush concealer it just sounded really good and honestly everything that hourglass comes out with is always so nice I love the finish of it on my skin I tried this color I like color match myself and it looked pretty good um this is in the color fawn my current concealer was the NARS creamy concealer I believe it was in the shade custard or ginger, whichever one is darker. I think it was custard. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Whichever one it was though, it's a little bit too dark for under my eyes. It's good for like my like blemishes or like if I have like darkness, darkness, darkness around my mouth, but it doesn't quite work for under my eyes right now because it's just a little bit too dark. So it was a good shade for the summer, but I think for winter I needed a new one. Um, and then you guys, I hit the jackpot in TJ Maxx for blankets. This blanket, you can't even see how freaking huge and amazing it is. It's so thick, it's massive. It's actually hand knit. It's by Artisan Home. And this is what the tag looks like in case you guys want to um, buy it. But it was amazing, it's $50, so it was not cheap. But as far as like things like this go, this is so nice. And hand knit, like heck yeah. Um, and then I also got, they had, so normally they only have like that, whatever the other, like it's called like the skinny brand and they don't have like the good syrup brand and they had vanilla bean from Tarani, which is like the good syrup brand. Um, so I'm really excited about this. Even the color looks good. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, this is the, not just plain vanilla, it's like the vanilla bean. So I'm really excited. I'm actually probably going to try this out right now. It's still like, I think it's like 345 um, and I have a video to edit. So I normally try to cut off my caffeine after three. But I might make myself like a little afternoon pick-me-up coffee, um, throw some collagen in there for extra protein, put a little bit of that syrup just so I can like try it out, see if I like it. Um, and yeah, because I was using, like, I saw somebody post that Erwan uses a specific, hold on. Um, so Erwan used a specific brand of like stevia drops to flavor their lattes. And I, every time I went to Erwan and I got like a hazelnut latte, it was so good. So I bought this, these drops and they were disgusting like even my mom tried them and she was like why does this taste so bitter and like stevia is a hit or miss taste um the stevia drops from trader joe's are not bad um and i was using those or honey or i have like vanilla bean maple syrup but i like to just like switch it out sometimes i want honey um and like a little splash of milk sometimes i want coffee creamer and nothing else sometimes i want milk and coffee creamer and recently i've been on like a syrup with almond milk kind of kick. Like, I feel like that would be really good. So, oh my God, my lips are so freaking chapped right now. But let me see if I to sanitize my hands before I go digging into my freaking chapstick. Um, this, by the way, this hand sanitizer, it's amazing. Um, it smells like, uh, what's it called? Centol 33. It's in this scent sandalwood from J.R. Watkins. It's the spray one. It's so freaking good. It literally smells amazing. I don't even know if that's gonna focus. Um, but there we go. Uh, it's made with aloe extract. It does not dry out your hands. It's plant-based. I don't know what that means in terms of sanitizer, but that's what it says on the front. Um, and then I always ca carry my little like Vaseline, the pink one. Pink one's the best. Also, I filmed my haul of all of my like kind of like affordable um, fall and winter fashion and Nasty Gal was sending me a package and it was supposed to be part of that haul and it would have made the haul even bigger and better and right when I finished filming and I finished eating and I was about to leave, I walk out on my front porch and there is my Nasty Gal package. It was supposed to arrive like a week and a half ago for my New York trip, but it is what it is. But Anyways, I'll probably end up filming a second haul. This whole vlog has just been me talking. I just got my brand new pink gratitude journal. It's basically the five minute journal. Um, and I'm so excited about it. Look how cutie she is. So pink and adorable. I can't wait to use it starting today. Definitely four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is fast. Uh, whichever one is in a hassle. Oh, damn, yeah. 
Good morning, you guys. I look insane. Um, I just self tanned. Okay, anyways, I'm in bed now. I'm wearing an all black outfit with like even black socks just to make sure I don't get anything on my white bed. Frankie and I have not come home for Thanksgiving in five years because we would either choose, we would choose a summer month to come home and we'd come home for like the whole month in July typically and then we would do a whole month for Christmas. So we'd come home in December and we'd come home in July and we just kind of couldn't swing it doing Christmas and Thanksgiving. Like it was just too much time to take off a frame for work and you know the travel is just a lot and especially once we got the dog it was really it's so much traveling with an animal and like leaving him behind was just like blah. Anyways long story short I haven't been home for Thanksgiving in forever so this one's just really special. We're engaged. We've moved back like I'm really excited for Thanksgiving tomorrow and we're getting the family together um, at my mom's house for the first time for Thanksgiving since I've been home. So yeah, it's just, it's really exciting. Um, so long story short, I just want everything tomorrow to go smoothly and I don't want to like be out late or like feel groggy tomorrow waking up. Like I don't plan on, you know, drinking a lot or anything, but I still feel like when my sleep is off, even if I haven't drank, I am a different person and like... I just want to be energized tomorrow so I'm really debating like my friends want me to go for like a little cocktail somewhere at like 8 30 which I could be down for I just don't want to go to like the local dive bar and like stand around like that just like to me it like you have to be I think a level of drunk one to even enjoy that and I don't want to get that level of drunk and two I don't even know like my friends are the people that I, I see, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna like go out and see a bunch of people that I don't really know. Like just because we went to high school together, what, almost 10 years ago, doesn't mean I like know you, you know what I mean? Like we barely know each other. We like knew each other 10 years ago, ba barely. We were in the same class, you know what I mean? Like to me, that's not like, oh, nostalgia. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know, um, which who's to say? Who knows where the night's gonna go? I might end up there, but let's hope not. Um, but yeah, we have Frankie's mom's birthday dinner tonight. We already had like a surprise party for her last weekend, but we're doing a birthday dinner and we got her a really special gift. Um, we got her a new Bible and it has her name on it, like um, engraved into it. And he got her, it was so sweet. He bought her like a bunch of little highlighters and like special stickers and things that she can use to like mark the pages and whatever, it's so cute. So I need to wrap that for her. Um, and then I'm going to, I need to go to the grocery store to pick up like last minute Thanksgiving things for my mom, like sweet potatoes and like random shit. Um, and then I need to make a return on Amazon and you can do that at like Kohl's, which I know is so random, but um, there's actually a Kohl's near the grocery store. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm getting an eyelash lift and tint, which I will show you guys when I do that. And that's it. So lots of stuff. Um, I was supposed to film something today, but I just think that I'm gonna push that off until Friday because I just feel like taking a whole day to film. Friday's gonna be like my filming day. Anyways, I'm literally just talking out loud or thinking out loud at this point. So I'm gonna go downstairs and get my stuff together. And I think I'm gonna head out to get those things for my mom just so that way I can like kinda, you know, get a move on with the rest of my day. Yeah, that's really all I have to do. And then I have to pack stuff for Frank's house because I need, a dinner outfit and then like a nighttime drinks outfit. I might just wear like the same pair of jeans, but like change out the top, like wear like a turtleneck to dinner. Cause it's like kind of like, it's a nicer restaurant, but it's more of like an older crowd. Um, so I don't like, would never want to wear anything like too revealing, but like for like a, a chill bar situation with your friends, I could wear like a cute bodysuit or something, you know? Okay guys, I can't get over my tan face right now. It just looks funny. Um, but we're back in the car. What else is new? Honestly, this whole vlog is just me in the car. I did not go to Starbucks. This is a pre-made La Cologne mocha latte that I put in a cup from yesterday. If you guys remember, I got Starbucks yesterday. My mom washed out the cup, saved it, and I was like, actually, that's very convenient because now I'm going to, like I said before, the grocery store um, because she needs a bunch of stuff for Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow, and I'm going to get it for her, um, and then I have to make a return from Amazon, and then we're going to be home. Um, my face looks funny. I was also thinking... It would be nice to, I'm out of like all coffee creamers and I only have like the sugar free, like the, the non-sweetened, non-sweetened, unsweetened almond milk 
which is like it tastes like cardboard in your coffee like especially hot coffee it's fine in iced coffee like if i make a cold brew it's okay but i kind of want to find like a different coffee creamer or like a, a thicker milk um to use with my new vanilla syrup that i got yesterday so we're gonna try that out as well um and then we're gonna come home and make brunch because i can't wait for my omelet that omelet that i had yesterday i want like the same thing you guys just got to kohl's making my little return and i think i'm gonna look for like a little bow or like something cute to add to terry's like birthday present wrapping like the wrapping paper is like red with polka dots so i think i'm just gonna add like a little red bow or something i don't think we have one so i think a bow would be pretty so every time I, last time I made a return, they gave me five dollars Kohl's cash. So it might honestly be free. Alright, y'all. So I'm back home. Just ate, as you guys saw. And my mom wrapped my present for me. Um, like I said, we did a trade. We did a little trade off. I told her I'd go to Stop and Shop for her if she'd wrap my present. So I tried this new coffee creamer. It's all right. It's like it's good, but it's not great. You know, it's called Super Creamer, and it's like supposed to be healthy. It has like MCT oil in it, and it's sweetened with stevia, um, and it's in the flavor caramel waffle which like waffle anything for me is like a yes like i just love waffles it's my favorite food so anything waffle flavored i mean so i get like the little bit of mapley whatever they're you know I, I like it i like it it's not bad usually healthy creamers are kind of disgusting so this is just cold brew it's the chobani cold brew that creamer with a little bit of unsweetened almond milk and the vanilla syrup that i bought yesterday I feel so naked without my ring. I took it off and I was self tanning. Um, no, it's good. It's good. Once you stir it around, I just needed to stir it. I think like the syrup was at the bottom. So everything just needed to be like mixed in. But to be honest, cold brew, I feel like makes everything taste good. The true test would be if I put this in my hot coffee, like see how that tastes. I'm also using this cup. If you guys have noticed, I've been using this cup for a while. Um, me and Monica stole these cups from Fountain Blue. Well, we didn't steal them. We paid for the drinks. You can keep the cups. I'm pretty sure they just throw them away or whatever. But um, they're technically like you can dispose of them, but they're like reusable plastic cups. We had so many of them. And the cleaning lady that came into like the housekeeper that came into our room saw that we had a stack of them and probably thought we were just trying to throw them away. And she threw them away. Um, so we were able to like, obviously with the, our last like day there, get a few more drinks and we each took two home but i wish i had more i love these cups um i want to collect them i don't know why like if you guys know it's like this frosted plastic like they're just very satisfying to drink out of i like bringing them along with me if i'm like in the car i just think they're easy i like to drink poppy like soda out of these crisp water okay, so i'm here packing for frankie's house this is my little bag that i'm gonna put everything in i have like my makeup my makeup brushes a gym outfit i actually ended up making this work and being able to only bring one outfit so i have to bring these like black skinny jeans i don't really wear skinny jeans but obviously if you wear like tall boots unless you put your jean over your boot um you're gonna have to wear a thin pant like a skinny pant in order to fit it into the boot do you get what i'm saying um and then this top i actually just hauled this it is from shopo it's really cute it's a wrap top and it's like a sweater so for dinner i basically i just tried it on with my new skims bra it's like the v-neck um skims bra and i am able to wrap this so that way i have no cleavage showing for dinner and it's very modest and it looks like very appropriate but then for the evening time i like unwrapped it a little bit and it still looks like casual like you're not trying hard but it gives you a little bit of like sexiness which we love and i'm gonna bring this leather jacket but i think for dinner i might I might wear a longer coat, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I need to bring and then just like skincare. Okay, hear me out. I'm not planning on like drinking, drinking, but I'm getting really nervous that even if, lately if I have one or two, I still feel like shit. Also, ew, my self tan on my hands right now. I need to wash this off. If I have one or two, I still feel like ass. So I just got this just in case because I need all the help I can get on Thanksgiving day. So I bought that. Um, 
call me crazy, but it is what it is. And then in here, I'm just putting my laptop, my five minute journal, and then this little, uh, little pink. Also have, I always keep like a bunch of little mini travel size. Like this is the perfume I'm gonna wear. It's by Diptyque, it's called Dosan, I believe. Um, and I don't know if I just mispronounced that, but I have like a little mini. Okay, what the? Hey, you guys, what the heck? Dude, I'm gonna have to keep my hand up. Um, anyways, I just got out of my eyelash tint appointment. My jacket is all screwed up. I look insane right now. Um, and my eyelash lift appointment, it went so well. One of my eyes is a little bit red because it just got irritated from the tint. But Chloe did a great- Trying to show you guys, I have very short eyelashes, so... They're like dense, but they're short. So you, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell. So I was like, listen, girl, I'm not expecting miracles. I just at least want them to be, this is pissing me the F off. Anyways, I got out early and I have time to go to Frankie's and start editing my video before dinner. And I was thinking, what if I got Starbucks? I'm such a crackhead for Starbucks. I can't though, you guys. The sugar cookie latte came out. I know I already had two coffees. But listen, but listen, I'm like a three coffee kind of B. You know what I mean? Like, fuck two coffees. Like, what is that all about? Two coffees? Who is she? I'm more of like a three coffee kind of girl. Always have been, always will be. I have to pee again. I already peed in there, but... It's just Starbucks, you know? Some people are addicted to drugs, okay? I'm only addicted to Starbucks. Hello, Liza. How do you do? I'm writing you a letter. I hope it reaches you. I know it's been a long time since you heard from me. I'm still kicking around here in Tennessee. I heard you got a new place I heard you got a new job I heard you got a haircut And it looks real nice Are you ever lonely? Do you ever think of me? I heard you got a new name I hope it treats you right and hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. Obviously when you're watching this, it is not going to be Thanksgiving, but it's Thanksgiving day. Um, it is 4.30, people are coming over in 30 minutes. I got home last night very late. I ended up meeting up with friends, meeting up with Frank and his friends afterwards, like all, all of our friends basically. And my chill Thanksgiving Eve plans quickly uh, went awry. So I woke up today not feeling so hot, um, but that's okay. We ended up watching a Thanksgiving movie that won Plane, Trains, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. It was so good. Um, we got Duncan, me, Frank, and his mom. We just got donuts and coffee and she made us breakfast sandwiches and we just like chilled, went on a walk with Dinky. Um, just had like a nice family morning. And then I came home to my mom's house, helped her like vacuum set the table. Um, I showed you guys obviously and we, I made a salad, I made um, like juice cocktails and all that crap. And then helped her cook a little bit, got ready, showered. And now people are about to come over in a few. Um, it's just my sister-in-law. My brother is a commercial truck driver, so he's not gonna be here. He's in a trip, unfortunately, um, driving. And it's gonna be my sister-in-law, my niece, um, maybe my nephew too. And I don't know though, he has a girlfriend and he might be at her place, but then just my fiance and his parents and my mom and me. Um, so it'll be good. Cute little like cozy Thanksgiving. I haven't had Thanksgiving home in so long. So um, it's going good so far. I'm really excited. I'm so hungry already. Um, my stomach's been like a bottomless pit today. I'm like, I don't know if this is TMI, but I'm ovulating. And every time I'm ovulating, I like the day like of ovulation, I'm like very, I'm probably gonna end this vlog here and start a new one tomorrow um i'll show you guys like some little clips of thanksgiving dinner and stuff but basically um that's all folks uh had a lot of fun last night i'm sure this evening is going to be great as well um the only thing i'm a little bummed about is that i really wanted to make it to the gym for a little bit of like stretching and sauna and like just a little movement 
and I wasn't feeling well this morning. So kind of a bummer that, you know, that happened, but it's the holidays. It's so hard with the holidays, honestly. Like, obviously that's an excuse, but it is what it is. Like, it's just life. And maybe it's just life telling me that I need to take a rest day because I basically worked out every day this week um, besides today. So I guess that's fine. It's not the end of the world. We're still here. We're still kicking. We're still thriving. I'm going to put on a cute little black like sweater dress and go downstairs and help my mom finish, put like the finishing touches on everything. But I love you guys. I hope everyone had a nice holiday, whoever celebrates. I honestly just view Thanksgiving as a time to gather with family and eat yummy food and, you know, see your friends that you haven't seen in a while and, you know, just celebrate basically, celebrate being together. Um, I don't really like care too much about the meaning about thanksgiving you know it's like it's a little controversial at this point um but it's more like just a hallmark commercial holiday to me to be honest but yeah you know we're not gonna get too much into that um any who's i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i love you all so much and i'll see you guys Tennessee. in the next one i heard you got a new place i heard you got a new job i heard you got a haircut and it looks real nice are you ever lonely? Do you ever think of